Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from HTML Tim here. In this video, I want to talk about some of the built-in key bindings for Pulsar that are pretty helpful. Um, there's quite a bit out there. I'm going to try and show you ones that uh, are fairly useful. Like any editor, it has its default key bindings, and I get you know some wrist issues from time to time. And you know, you know, see a lot of people use Vim. Vim sometimes agrees with me, sometimes doesn't those key bindings and I have a video on how to set those up in this editor but um, I, I think in general if you use the keys a lot more than the mouse and I use the mouse sometimes I'll probably use some in this video but uh, I, th I think it will be helpful so I've got a few files open let's create a new file with control N um, and we'll save this as keybindings.txt uh, okay so that was control N is create a new file. Okay, and let's take a look and see what we've got. We can also, when we go into the tree view here, um, which, let's see, which it's not focusing for some reason <laughs> in the tree view, um, what we can do is we can create a new file with A. Okay, so enter the path to new file. I'm going to use the mouse now, but anyways, when you're in the tree view, uh, in tree view, this will create a new file. Okay, um, control and this slash will toggle the tree view. So you see, I'm toggling the tree view. Now it's focusing, of course, after I did that. So so now I can go here and I can go and create a new file if I want to. Okay. Um, okay. Next one. Um, Alt one through nine will jump you to the tabs that are open. So let's say I want to go to header.html, which is in the first tab. I'll do Alt one. If I want to go to index, Alt two. Uh, spelling, Alt four. Um, alt three for the file I'm in. Okay. So that's helpful. Um, alt backspace. So actually first, let me do Alt 1 through 9. You'll jump to the tabs that are open. Okay, Alt Backspace. Let's uh, do that one. See, so we start to delete letters, okay? Alt Backspace. Uh, so let's say delete letters in front of cursor. Okay, um, alt delete. Let's check that one out. Okay, so that deletes the word in front of the cursor. So alt delete will delete the word in front of the cursor. Cool. All right, um, change your font size. So control and then the equals, that's going to increase font size. So if I do control equals, notice it got a little bit larger there. Okay, a little bit larger, a little bit larger. So this increases font size. Okay, if I want to get back to normal, I'm going to do control zero. Brings the font size back to normal. Okay, so control zero. Uh, if I want to get it smaller, I'm going to do control control and then the underscore here now this would be like command on a Mac also so if I want to get smaller ooh, look at that it's really small I'll do control zero I'll bring it back to normal okay so this will decrease font size okay um, control one will jump from the tree view to the file you're on So let me get back to the tree view and do control one. Oh, and that goes to my header, okay? Now if I go back to the tree view and I go to spelling and do control one, that jumps to the file I'm on, okay? I'm gonna use alt three to get back to keybindings.txt. All right, so, um, so we talked about control N, control comma, will bring up my settings, so control comma brings up the settings. OK, 
Okay. Um, let's check about talk about spelling. So control and the colon here will uh, correct the spelling. So let's demonstrate that. And this works in files where you have the the setup for the spelling to be on. So like there in the settings, if you go to packages here and you go to spell and you go to settings and you go down here you'll see what types of files so we got text plain text file which I have uh, spelling.txt so this one okay now I think because I'm filming the spelling isn't showing up but if I do this and it might not work with this one why is it not working Okay, I think it's because I'm filming. When I was doing it right before filming, it does work. What I'll do is I'll do control and then the colon here, and it will give me a um, you know alternate suggestions for the spelling. For whatever reason, the recording is conflicting with that, but that does work. Okay, um, outdent selected. So let's actually indent. Okay, so I indented with uh, control and then the square bracket here. So this is indenting, selected. And to outdent, I do the other square bracket. Okay, so I do control in this one, and that is outdenting, okay? So that's useful with uh, formatting code. Control A, that selects everything. So select all. Uh, control C is copy, normal stuff. Control V paste, uh, control X, uh, cut, all of those work. Um, oops. Control uh, Z is undo. Control Y is redo. So a lot of those are fairly normal. Uh, control Shift K is delete a line. So if I want to delete this line, Control Shift K, Control Z to undo that. Uh, control Y to redo it, Control Z to undo it. You yep. can go back and forth there. Um, okay, so let's go to a file with brackets. So let's do Alt 2. And if I do Control Alt comma, it's going to select in between the brackets there. If I go to say here, Control Alt comma, it's going to select all the way from this bracket to this bracket. So that's that's a useful one. That is control alt comma. So control alt comma is uh, select between brackets. Okay, um, let's go back to my index here. So alt two to get back there. And I'm gonna do control alt and curly brace. And then that was the left curly brace, and then Control Alt and the right curly brace will fold and unfold. Okay. I'll do Alt three to get back to my key bindings here. So Control Alt and the curly brace that's going to fold all, and then Control Alt and the other curly brace is going to unfold all. Okay. Uh, control B will. Uh, do a fuzzy finder for the files that are open. So control B will give me all the files that are open. All right, let's close my sp uh, spelling one because that one's not working anyways. I'm gonna close it with control W. Uh, so control W is a close current file that you're on. Uh, that's what I'm gonna call it. And then if I do control uh, T, um, that's going to give me all the files in my project here. Uh, let's see. So let's see. Control B gives me some of the files, and then Control T also gives me the files. So Control T is another fuzzy finder. Okay. Um, Okay, so let's say I want to switch this line. I can, can do control up to move it up, control down to move it down. So control uh, up arrow, that's going to move the line up. 
and control down arrow will move the line down, okay? Take a look at my notes here. Uh, okay, this is the one I like to use. So uh, control enter, so control enter, you see what I did there, is insert new line below. So control enter, um, and I can be anywhere on the line. So let's say I'm here, control enter, insert new line below. I'm gonna do control shift K to clean this up. Okay, um, control shift enter will insert line above. So control shift enter will insert line above. That's These are useful ones that I use quite a bit. Um, control J will join line. So anywhere on the line, you know, like say here, control J, it's joining the line. So let's undo that twice with control Z twice. So control J undo lines, okay, or sorry, control J is join line, okay? Um, uh, let's see, control K control zero will unfold all. Let's go to the index here, alt two to get here. Um, let's say I wanna fold, do a level three fold, I can do Control K, Control Three, and that folds um, the third level fold. Okay, I can do Control K, Control Zero to unfold. If I want to do fold basically everything, uh, Control K, Control One. That's going to do everything between the, in this case, this HTML document between the opening and closing HTML uh, tags. So, and I can do Control K, Control Zero to unfold that. If I want to target this second fold here, fold everything uh, in the head, I think that's Control K, Control 2. Okay, it closes both the head and the body there. So I'll unfold Control K, Control 0. If I want to get to this next level of folding, I'll do Control K, Control 3. That'll fold the script. Okay, Control K, Control 0 will unfold it. And I think if I want to do the div, it's Control K, Control 4. Uh, no. I mean, basically, oh, the, sorry, that's the actual stuff here. So inside the script tags. So, and then control K, control zero to unfold. So you can fold different levels based on what you want to do. So you could also do, if I wanted to fold this, I could do control alt and um, the curly brace, okay? And then control alt and the other curly brace to unfold. All right, so that's folding. Um, if I want to close the other items here, I can do, uh, let's say I'll go to key bindings here. So I did some folding with control uh, K, control uh, the number for the level of the fold. And then just to recap, control, control K, control zero to unfold all. That's another way to fold. Um, and then if I do Control K, Control Alt W, that's going to close the other editor items. So Control K, Control Alt W. Okay, and that closed everything besides the current file that I'm in. Control S just saved that file, which I think that one's uh, pretty obvious, but that's save file. Okay. Um, control G is go to line so let's do control g and let's go to 29 hit enter there we are we're on line 29 so that can help with your your debugging um, let's make this word here uppercase with control k control u okay so control k control u is uppercase okay and then if i want to go lowercase i'm going to go and highlight the word with control shift in the right arrow and then control K, control L to uh, lowercase a word. So control K, control L will lowercase word. Uh, control W, we've talked about that, that closes the current pane. Okay. Um, control K down arrow so you can start to do splits, control K and then the down arrow. 
That's going to copy and split below, so Control K, down arrow, and now I've got a split here um, with both files. Let me close the top one, it'll move up. Oop, I closed everything. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, if we do Control K, up arrow, yeah, it splits above. Control K, right arrow, spritz to the right. We have Control K, left arrow, splits to the left. So we can you know, do that and then Control K, Control Alt Shift W. Uh, that's gonna close any other files that were open. So we can do a bunch of splits here if we want. Um, Control Shift P brings, this is a very important one, Control Shift P brings up the command palette. So Control Shift P brings up the command palette and you can look for you know, a whole bunch of different things down here. You can search for stuff like, I don't know, HTML. Uh, so you can do some stuff with HTML there, okay? I can escape to get out of that. Um, talked about Control Y, Control uh, Z. And then the last thing I think I'm gonna talk about, if we go, um, here and we want to get to the active file we do the control in the pipe and that will go to the active file so notice what happened there so I did the control in the pipe and it moved in the tree view to the active file control in the pipe okay so and then I do control one to get back here so control and the pipe here uh, move to the active file in the tree view now there's other key bindings here uh, to check up key bindings, bring up your settings. So control comma, go to key bindings here. And check out the key bindings. Some may or may not work on your system. I'm running a Chromebook, so some of these, Chromebook has a few interesting key bindings. So there may be more key bindings depending if you're on Mac or Windows that you find enjoyable. Uh, if you found this video enjoyable, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I want to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.